When we pulled into Cargo Bay and need a shotgun shells, the QM yelled at me to stop a banging on his bell. We wanted some munitions for our glorious ballot hunt, but found too late that they just hated us green tiny cunts. And we're banned from Cargo, everyone. Banned from Cargo just for having a little fun. Spent the whole round gearing up and stealing off their war. Now when he doesn't want us anymore. I started as a cargo tech and I had a sin these comps. So I did what anyone would do and ordered 20 bombs. Hey, but that? then an NG with a welder hit me and set me a place. So cargo set on fire too when the server lacked for days and where. Banned from cargo, everyone. Banned from cargo, just, just for having a little fun. We spent the whole round gearing up and stealing all their war. Now NT doesn't want us anymore. Worked the shift as King Cargo decided to succeed. The cargo texts were sent out to take all the things we need. Foolishly, SEC challenged us and all of them did fall. The only thing that stopped us was that goddamn shuttle call. And we're banned from cargo, everyone. Banned from cargo just for having a little fun. We spent the whole round of gearing up and stealing all their war. And now NT doesn't want us anymore. Take it from here, Stagger. I heard those fucking techies were building an engine. They didn't heed my warnings, they constructed an SM. Just to let them know who really is the chief. I cut the power, locked the doors, and now they're all ground beef. And we're banned from cargo, everyone. Banned from cargo just for having a little fun. We spent the whole round gearing up and stealing all their war. Now NT doesn't want us anymore. Solo! Still work for this because of the nervous wrecks. Any other suggestion just might be a side of scene. Just another fucking ship on space station 15. And we're banned from cargo, everyone. Banned from cargo just for having a little fun. We spent the whole round gearing up and stealing all their own. Now NT doesn't want us anymore. Because we're job banned. Good evening, Internet. Hold on, let me safe the 1911 and put it away. 47 World Wars! All right, good evening. So, tonight we're going to play some uh, Scrambles, and I have, uh, yeah, I'm going to be running solo tonight, looks like. So, if you guys try to write 10,000 things at once, Mr. Tex cannot read them that fast. I have to look over... So yeah, 1911 put away, coffee has been gutted, new BPL podcast has been out. If you guys want to check out the BPL podcast, I'd recommend you go check that out. 
Anchor FM, Spotify, Google, Apple, we're everywhere. Just look at Black Pants Legion Podcast. This week was part two of us talking about Delta Green and how we're very bad at it. We're very, very bad at Delta Green. So, um, yeah. Good evening. I'm going to start up Battletech. And, uh, yeah. And, by the way, I don't think I even have any mods watching. So, uh... (laughs) If your message gets held, it's YouTube, it's not me. I personally don't give a fuck what most people say. In fact, I don't give a fuck about much anything. Um, I, I had a fan reach out to me and they're like, I'm trans and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I don't care. It, I, all I care about you is if you're a decent person. I, I, I don't care if you're gay, straight, whatever. I don't, I don't care. As long as you're cool, you're cool with me. Um, and, and some some people think that that's like some sort of novel approach to the world. But in reality, it's called just minding your own business, which seems to be somewhat of a lost art form, ain't it? Anyways, uh, you may not agree with me, but I will respect your right to disagree. Let's move on. All right. Oh, ho, ho, yes, let's show the starter. If you're not a decent person, you should work on that. New Year's resolution and all that shit. Hold on, let me switch over to the main screen. And now you can watch me be an asshole. All right, here we go. And a uh, career load. Wait, no, that's that's the old one. Campaign load, not career mode. That was the mod. Oh, scrambles. Oh, yeah. I'm about to drop the hammer and deliver into screaming at just yes. Ah, uh, yeah. There's the back. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we're good. Note to self, don't get old. Do not get old. I've had a lot of weird fan mail this week. Um, A lot. A, a, a lot of very, very, very strange fan mail. So, that's been interesting to answer. Uh, oh. And here we are. And we were working on Max, so here we go. But yeah, we got a uh, we got a very, very, very nice uh, episode of the BPL podcast out. And uh, we've got some other stuff coming out, so happy, happy. Uh, I can't work for the Capellans. Local pirate organization, eh? <laughs> okay. Let's let's do this just to warm up a bit, huh? Let's take some money. I just want to make some money. Oh no, the planetary government won't like me. <sighs> Who cares? All right, and then, huh? And then there's Akak with the AC twenties. There's Blasto. And then and then uh, this is the one catch built that is just ridiculous. Uh, I'm gonna swap that Banshee out and take you. Because I think I'm going to take one of the ERP, or not ERP PCs, PPCs out. Uh, did you happen to see the ships I sent to the editor? Maybe. Um, I have I spoke with him only a little bit today. He's, he's kind of tired, so he's he's having to relax right now. Oh, can you opt out of aging? Sure. There is an early retirement plan, but I wouldn't recommend it. And I will tell Deputy that. Yeah, not ERP, Frank. Jesus. All right, here we go down to the planet. Yeah, we're um we're bringing way too much firepower. Uh, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I'm bringing like 400 tons for what's gonna be some garbage, and I don't give a fuck. We're gonna have some good times. Oh, yeah. Pirate leader. (laughs) Right, we've taken control of the facility. (laughs) No, you haven't. You're gonna get murdered. (laughs) Oh, I'm tired. 1.5 skulls, 400 tons. Let's do it. Let's fucking do this shit. Full on. We are Steiner Scout Squad. Oh, there's, there's, there's going to be so much dumb.
I had a I but back to the weird fan mail. Um, someone said they needed a um a quote to end their their history paper. They they needed a quote to end their history paper on Gallipoli. And the quote I provided them was not helpful, but made me laugh. And my quote was, remember, any ship can be a minesweeper once. <laughs> and uh, they they were a little mad. Um, pro tip, if, if the enemy's in an entrenched position in a very narrow area, there's probably a reason he's not moving, and maybe the easy approach is mind. Just saying, just saying. And Steel XL, I know I have amazing taste in cheese. Reclette is the shit. All right, and let's fire everything. Oh, yeah. Come on, dragon. Get skull fucked. All right, and here we go. We're going to go ahead and move Akak -Ak up here. And we're going to give him a little bit of boom. Oh, wow. I think it's time for the uh, bulldozer of SRMs. Here we go. Oh yeah, let's let's give it to him, shall we? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> welcome to the floor, fucko. All right, next we're gonna move this guy around here, and we're gonna. Na -na 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 -na. Tex is a historian. If you could spend a day with anyone from history, who would be your top three choices? If I could have a translator for the languages, I would love to speak with uh, Frederick the Great, um, Theodore Roosevelt, and Admiral Nelson, probably. Three, three leaders I respect. Oh, here we go. I don't care if the ammo costs more. I'm a mercenary. Sometimes you have to show up and you have to just wipe the floor with people. Sometimes you have to wake the fuck up and you need to get up and you need to stand on your chair. And you need to stand on your chair and you need to howl at the moon and do LSD and fight people with knives. Because that's what it's like to be a crazy guy in the periphery. You have to have a Chia pet that's also a Claymore. Your lawn gnomes need to be incendiary and your front lawn needs to be concertina wire. I mean, uh, you know, sometimes you just gotta do what you do. Sorry, I was on a roll there. I've had too much caffeine. But fuck it, it's Friday. All right, let's see. Uh, da -la -la, da -la -la, that one. In my opinion, what kind of place does lighter assault mechs, such as the Victor Templar hold? Rapid mobility and rapid reaction. Uh, use them as like a medium mech. All right. So what are we going to do? Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to stomp over here. Right? Da -na -na -na. Biggest troll move I've done in Battle Tank. Tabletop? Probably the exploding urban mech. And I press this button to make him go away. Fetus deletus! Oh, come on. All right, that didn't work. I, I, I was going to do a magic trick. Oh, that one did. Shit. All right, let's get up here and show him the clanner plow. Hello, clanner plow. Uh, yeah, we don't need all the medium lasers, just some of them. Be gone! I cast you out from this place. Ooh. All right, what are they doing? Ooh, a javelin. Whoa, watch out. We got a badass over here. All right, here's, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go up there and break their fucking shit shack, uh, their jack shack, whatever it is. And uh, they're going to send stuff over and peck at me, which is going to do nothing other than make me mad. Which is fine. I'm just fine with that. All 
All right. Here we go. Ding, 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 ding. Um, thoughts on the Smith & Wesson Performance Center revolvers. Now, mind you, if everyone asks me a question at once, I won't be able to answer them. So take your time writing something eloquent. Um, the TRR-8 is on my want list. Like, badly, badly want list. Can't find one. If someone has a used one out there that's willing to sell one, hit me up. Um, the TRR-8, despite being scandium, is in frame. That really does interest me. Some people were worried about flame cutting on the top strap, but they solved that with a steel insert. Um, so far, I've noticed the performance center guns are more or less what Smith & Wesson used to be like when Dan Wesson was in charge of the QC line, and I can say that because I actually own a Dan Wesson QC era Smith & Wesson Model 19, where the fit and finish is impeccable. Um, the timing is also very good. So the, I've not had a problem with them. I've had friends who had them and just love the shit out of them. They're really good revolvers. Oh, let's see. Favorite Theodore Roosevelt exploit? Probably just, <laughs> probably just saying I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and start a volunteer regiment and go off to war. That's that's probably my favorite one. And then just going to recruit from it, like, at a bar in San Antonio. <laughs> just being like, all right, boys, I need some crazy-ass Texans. All right, let's see. But no, I, I like the Smith & Wesson 586. Um, Smith & Wesson 586 is 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 one of my favorite guns. Um, oh, Sarah Stevens has entered the chat. That is Cookie Mama in the Legion. She is like the Legion's mom. She takes care of everyone and makes us laugh, and she likes playing Jackbox. Everyone say hi, Cookie Mama. She's very wholesome and very fun. And now I have to kill two Urban Max, so I feel kind of bad. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a revolver guy uh, for the most part, but I do own a lot of semi-autos, so don't think I'm completely fudded out. I, I own a few 1911s, I own Glocks, multiple. Um, I have CZs, I've, I believe me. I, the answer to guns in Texas house is yes. Yes, it is. Oh, poor Irby fell down. But no, I had some, uh, I keep getting distracted. I keep getting very, very distracted uh, because I had this, like I said, some weird fucking emails. I had this email from this lady in Iceland and she said she was furious, absolutely goddamn furious at that uh, My Pillow guy because she was in America visiting, saw on TV the My Pillow, went to a Bed Bath and Beyond, and there was My Pillow and the like as seen on TV or whatever. Buys the My Pillow, doesn't unbox it till she gets home, unboxes it and has the worst fucking night's sleep and is fucking livid. And it was like it was a it was like reading Martin Luther's 95 thesis except regarding a pillow. <laughs> It was, it was pretty funny, but bizarre. Pow, pow. Oh, get wrecked. Tango is trash, Chipper. What is the best gun to de-escalate a violent situation? Uh, none. No gun. There's no gun that's going to do that. It, you, you need to use your words at a certain point. When gun comes out, talking done. That's, that's, that's when, <laughs> that is turned a corner. <laughs> when gun comes out, the time for talking is over. <laughs> and I know a lot of people hold to that thing. All I gotta do is flash a gun and they'll be scared. No. <laughs> no, they will not. In fact, you might trigger a fight or flight response. And uh, if they're a fighter and you're not, that's gonna be a bad fucking day. So don't fool yourselves. And don't bite off more than you can chew and follow your local laws. Uh, Captain Salazar, I got an undergraduate in history, and I graduated at probably the worst time in the world ever, uh, which was the collapse of the economy in late 2007, um, early 2008. 
And so I found that one, all the history jobs disappeared and they've never really come back. Um, you need a PhD or at least a master's degree to work in the history field. And you're going to need a lot, a lot of uh, additional study and stuff like conservation, digitizing artifacts, all sorts of stuff to work in a museum. So be very, very, very prepared to work your ass off. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just trying to make you aware that it's going to be difficult. And like most things that are difficult, if you find yourself driven to do it and it brings you pleasure, do it. I've, I've often echoed Alan Watts's um, ideas regarding what to do for a living, which is do whatever the fuck you like. And if you get good at it, that is to say, if you really focus on improving what you do for a living every single day. Every single day. The money will come. So if, if you want to be an artist for a living, like if you want to draw, start fucking drawing. Draw every day. Draw every day for four hours. If you wanna if you wanna be in shape, every day start exercising. Exercise for as long as you fucking can every day. If you if you wanna be good at singing, sing every day. Now, are you going to be the best in the world? No. But over a lifetime of dedication, you will become very good. Do what you like, dedicate your life to it, and do whatever you must to get by in the meantime. And eventually there will be money in it. Oh, trying to degunk a uh, set me see parts kit. Okay. Uh, go get Neutral Mineral Spirit. You can find it in most hardware stores in the woodworking and refinishing stuff. Go get Neutral Mineral Spirit. Just mineral spirits. Get a big bucket. Get a brush. Pour the mineral spirits in the bucket. Get the brush in there and just scrub. Wear eye protection. Just saying. Well, it looks like we're about to knock these corn holes into the lake. Is there a tank I would, uh... Is there a tank I would, if given the chance, would what? Own? Yes, absolutely. If I had to own it, if someone said, I will give you a tank, yes. Yes. It doesn't even have to be fully functional. I, I'll, I'll work on it. I'll learn. Worst AI to deal with in Civ 5? I don't know. It's all really kind of random, ain't it? Hmm. Hey, everybody. Uh, that Gamers Haven's in the chat. And Gamers Haven is actually Rob, the game store owner of my favorite game store of all time which is Gamers Haven in Colorado Springs, off Academy Boulevard. I played many games there, many, 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 many games there over the years. And uh, I, I think that if you're ever in Colorado Springs, you need to go visit Rob and bring him a sandwich. And Rob, what kind of sandwich do you like? Because I said that in one of the videos, and apparently someone tried, <laughs> which is great. Oh yeah, Tisa's 1911s are great. Um, they're they're well machined, they're well fit, they're decent. Um, if you if you get the standard one, you're probably gonna have to bob the hammer, which is doable. Um, it's not that hard. Uh, don't don't be afraid. It's just a hammer. Taking a 1911 apart can be really daunting at first, but don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. But yeah, no. Uh, yeah, Rob is probably the greatest game store owner of all time. He he really is. He, as much as he tries to act like he isn't, he's he's really fucking cool, and we all love him. And I mean, he he was such an awesome home away from home for so many people. He was he was very kind and decent. And I I went to actually go back to Colorado over a year ago before the pandemic hit. And uh, it, it was pretty fucking funny because he and I just picked right back up where we were and we played Battletech and he beat my ass while I tried to DFA a catapult. It was it was great. 
Then we had some guy walk up to our table and was like, you sound familiar. And I was like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. But yeah, no. Gamers Haven Rob is probably, the, that is that was my home away from home for many years. I played many games there. So, yeah. And yeah, I've checked out Farseer. He's pretty decent. And we wait, and we wait. Yeah. Obscure firearm I've ever handled. A Dreiss needle gun. I've actually shot one. So yeah, I've I I did get to shoot a Dreiss needle gun, functional one too. That was pretty awesome. Um, the same guy I knew in college, he actually had a huge collection of very very functional old Mausers. Um, and we, we enjoyed shooting them. The, the, uh, the 1870s and 1880s Mausers are fan-fucking-tastic. The Dreiss needle gun, um, was the first functional kind of, uh, bolt-action rifle. Um, the needle comes from the firing pin, which would penetrate the rear of the combustible cartridge. Combustibles being before brass cartridges. Um, think of it as like a giant doobie, and on one end you have a conical bullet or like a Manet bullet, and on the other end is your powder, and inside the powder is like a primer pocket. So it's it's that first kind of awkward step toward a car cartridge. So you open the bolt, and you put the combustible in, and you close the bolt, and you pull the trigger, and the needle perforates that jacket, starts the combustible. Still black powder, but that kind of first... Um, really interesting step on the way to like a chasse um, where you, you start getting into repeating bolt action firearms. Command interface initiated. Who's the person who made my professor tax art? That is Zenith in the Legion. I have posted on my channel Zenith Draws. You should check those videos out because they're fucking amazing. And her email's on there for contact. She's very good. But also, there is a Lou in chat who draws all the Lou giant big titty cat girl mech stuff. He also draws mechs real good. But I always give him shit for the porn he draws. Um, Lou, go ahead and drop your thing, and I'm sure one of the uh, BPL boys will be glad, glad, glad to uh, approve it. Needs more Scrombles, boys. Well, we're fighting Capellans right now, so that's apt. Oh, let's see. Tank I would own. Probably a T-54, T-55. Probably easy to work on. I mean, Soviet engineering is simple and robust. All right, so here we go. We got a spider and we got max. All right, I got to get in. All right, scrambles. My wife just said no capellans. No capellans! Scramble hate. Scramble shoot! Scramble kill. Scramble no like. Scramble murder. Oh, he's got his leg off. Ooh, it's gonna hurt. Welcome to the ground. Hey, you wouldn't want to LS swap a T55. T55's diesel engine is way better than an LS for that kind of application. It, the LS would just be redlining and go nowhere. Bye bye. Look, it's digs with hams. Yeah, I tried to get you earlier, digs, but uh. I think you're away from the keyboard. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. They're heading your way. All right, so we're gonna go over here to the right. Yeah, Diggs gets a shout out, Psydog. That's how it goes. All right, we're gonna go over here and kill this guy.
It's Boomer Banzai. Grandpa of the Legion. I shouldn't say that. He he he's he's just an average guy in the Legion, but we we jokingly were like, okay, old man. He's like, I'm gonna murder you. And he takes out his like 800 D and D books and turns into a D and D book golem. All right, here we go. We're gonna go. Okay, yep. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. And as the BPL, uh. Still accepting applications. Yeah, if you know the way in, you can apply right now. Oh, and he died. Ooh, I like it. All right, here we go. We're going to go over here and kill someone with a hammer. Um, but... If I were in a world of Holtzman shields, what would my weapon of choice be? Well, one of the ones they forgot about in the Dune series until Baron Harkonnen actually kind of started pioneering it again. This old thing called artillery. Very good shit, artillery. Yeah, Diggs, I had the same thing earlier today. Um, I had the flu symptoms yesterday from the vaccine, and then today I had... Horrible, horrible sniffling sinus stuff, so... Oof. Oh, look at these people getting shot. Oh, it's a javelin. How nice. Oh. He shot at me. You know what this means. It's time to die! Alright, um, here we go. Scrambles punch! Oh, no. Welcome to the floor! It's bad getting hit in a vacuum. You know, you know your guy just, like, shoots out into space. Oh. All right, let's see. What next? Uh, I choose you. Target acquired. All right, Boomer. Let's make Boom Boom. Well, Stone, that's an interesting question. Um, I don't know how good building codes are in Battletech. I'm sure it varies planet to planet, much like they do city to city. All right, here we go. Oh, a javelin. How cute. How very cute. I believe it's time for Scrambles to punch. Oh, yeah. Oh, these poor bastards. These poor, poor, poor people. How's it going? Oh, here we go. Oh, it's on now. All right, here we go, and we're gonna move over here. Oh, and I know MechWarrior 5 is coming to Steam. I cannot wait to actually play the thing and see how much they've surely polished it. I'm sure they've spent all of this time polishing the game. Surely. Surely they have. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, money. And they give me some crap salvage. Thank you, people. Oh, man. See, I told them. I, I actually, I actually told them. I said, you know what? You know what? It would be really nice if it came out May the 20th to celebrate Tukia. And they were like, yes, May... 27th, and I'm like, oh, oh, so you guys really care. Oof, 
All right, let's see. Any other good jobs in the locality? No. Great. Is there anything good at this store? Probably not. It's a frozen shithole. There is a black market, but I mean, the markup is horrible. And it's not even... Yeah, full battle mech, 100 million. No. Sure, I killed a bunch of pirates, but I mean, they shouldn't hold that against me, really. All right, here we go. I'm looking for something a little more challenging, but not terribly far out. Uh, that's magistracy space. Travel restricted. Yeah, because they'll get lost in the whorehouses. Hey, look, it's Portland. It's probably pretty fucking weird. Um, let's see. Travel restricted. Oh, wow. That's, that's a mouthful. How do you pronounce this one? Mangzhanjian? Mangzhanjian. Good God. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go there. Three and a half skulls. Sure. Yeah, I played the uh, Battletech tabletop RPG, A Time of War. Mr. Welch was right on that. It needs work. It needs substantial work. Substantial work. Tell you what, while we're traveling, give me some upvotes and I'm going to go get more coffee. Coffee! All right, I'm back. All right. Okay, here we go. My overhead is bad because I heard a bunch of pilot pirates. Pilots, the same thing. Look, just opportunists. Don't worry about it. Oh, man. You know, running this mercenary company is very expensive. Yeah, don't worry about it. Tell you what. Uh, I, I know how to get I know how to get some upvotes. One moment. Where is oh yeah, right next to me. I think this is worth an upvote. There you go. Ping. What coffee am I drinking? Uh this is Copper Moon. I like it. All right, here we go. Let's visit the store. Ah, ping. That is one of desk guns. Let's see. See, they've got they've got good stuff here. Wow, they really do. Huh? Holy shit, they do. That's not bad at all. Let's see. Hmm. All right, let's go do some dirty work. I like work that's dirty. Uh, Kaleidoscope is the one that's owned by one of the Legionnaires. Uh, we drank the shit out of that on the podcast. That was really good. All right, let's see. Work, work, work. Drop interception. Save the prototype and... Whoa, look at that. 
Oh, man. We lost an entire lands. Blah, blah, blah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Okay, inbound dropship pirates. Let's do it. Yeah. All right. Let's do the good stuff. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to take that. And I'm going to put in... Tin Man. Yeah. I need all my good pilots. Look, if the pirates don't want to let me into their cool kid club, they can blow it out their ass. Look, it's Potato McWhiskey. He's that guy who gets the big stream numbers. Hey, Potato, we need to do a uh, modded game of Civ V. Modded Civ V, and uh, we, we need to have a Civ that is Randolph P. Checkers. Not sure what kind of uh, bonuses he would have. Probably to corruption and freight, in equal measure. Infantry unit, Cargonians. Many in number, easily startled. <laughs> Oh, let's put a stop to that raid, Commander. All right, here we go. Out. Let's go kill some people. On my way. Cargonia! I don't know how to mod Civ Five. Shit, I barely know how to play it. All I know is, uh, <laughs> when I play it, I usually play it on, like, Marathon. And it's always, oh, one more turn! One more turn! Uh, his mustache gives him culture. It is majestic. All right, so we're going to go around this way. All righty. Grandpa attacks in Civ. Oh, that would be awful. Like, every time you unlock something, they always have some studious motherfucker. They always have uh, gotten Civ for is like Leonard Nimoy, and then... They've had, like, Sean Bean and all these different people read, you know, the, oh, writing is the gateway to the soul, you know, whenever you discover writing. And if it was Grandpa Tex, it'd be like, words on paper make me mad, you know, and it's, it's just shit that has nothing to do with anything. Oh, let's see. Okay, let's see. Sentinel, quick draw, bah, bah, bah. all right. Here we go! Aye, aye. Okay. Quick draw, huh? How about face ground? Confirmed. Ooh, right in the bone meats. Bone meats. All right, here. Here we go. We're gonna we're just gonna close in and clobber this guy, and we're gonna make the other guys come down to us, and then we're gonna take the high ground. We're gonna take the high ground, Anakin. All right, Blasto. Oh dear! It appears I have found the off switch. All right, what is next? And the gravity is a rainbow. We're gonna move you over here and sit in the back with your missiles. Click. You can do whatever you want, Anastasios Thanatos. God, Anastasios Thanatos? That sounds like a fucking Bond villain. Mr. Bond, I am Anastasios Thanatos. You will now fight my trained dolphin assassins. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for laughing at that. You have an awesome name. That's that's a good one. I like it. Yeah, he's like a Greek supervillain. He's he's got like a giant ship. He just cruises around the world. Ah, Mr. Bond, you seem to have found my girlfriend. Her name is Woman, comma sexy. They're like that don't you're not even trying. I do not have to. I'm Anastasio Stanatos.
That or I could say it in southern accent, you know. Anastasius Thanatus. Here we go, boys. Oh, man. Oh, trebuchet. Ooh la la. Weren't those bipedal missile mechs in the old mech warrior games called Mad Dogs? Uh, that's one of them, but that's like saying, isn't that car with four wheels called a Corvette? Well, yes and no. It is a deeper, deeper hole than you could imagine. But yeah, it's good seeing you on Goon. Uh, I enjoy fucking around on Goon. Um, aside from that tryhard I locked in the freezer, boy, he got mad. Boy, he was so salty. He was yelling at me in dead chat for like five minutes. He's like, I'm gonna get cloned and you're not. And I'm like, oh, okay. Ooh, and awesome. <laughs> me likey. <laughs> oh, man. Um, eh, we thought about an audio book. Let's just say uh, we're thinking about things. Gray Tide Worldwide. No, why? Dial M for murder. All right, we're going to go up on the high ground and shoot him in the side meats. Oh, here we go. Side meats and blasto. Knock, knock. Who's there? Floor. Oof. All right, and we're going to move up. I think, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go clankety-clank, get on that flank, get up there, come up behind him, give him a little bit of the Zim-Zam. A little bit of the Zim-Zam. Oh, what's he doing? He's going to come over here and play. It doesn't seem very fun. All right, let's go over here. Let's do a little walk, 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 walk. And then we're going to shoot him with all of these. Goodbye, trebuchet. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Bond. Ooh, right in the meebles. All right, so he's getting up. Oh, he fired all three. Well, look at me. I'm important. All right. What's up, boss? Whatever you can do, I can do better. I can do everything better than you. Oh, heat sink destroyed. That's not going to hurt him. Surely not. Yeah, I do plan on playing Star Sector at some point. It's on my two playlist. Quite a lot is. Oh, now it's time for you to fall down again. And he falls down again. And now it's time to deliver that coup de grace. Well, that was the center torso. Nice try. <laughs> try as you might, you have failed. Oh, look, a vindicator. He showed up late. Well, I think it's time for Scrambles to play Tap Tap. It's my favorite game with scrambles, you know. It goes like this. Tap, tap. Oh, and look at that. I win. Huh. All right. Mission 
I win. All right. No real damage to speak of. I'm going to grab that awesome part because I want it. Uh, let's see what else. <laughs> Garbage. Fuck it. Mech parts for salvage and money. All you got to do is turn the inside of the mech into the outside of the mech, right? With a little bit of... And handle. It's good times. All right, so then we wait. No, we don't. We go find another mission because there's so many here. Okay, save the prototype. Blah, blah, blah. Let's just, yeah, convoy escape with the beard. Sandman did a prototype, but uh, it's convoy but, uh, research. Got it. I paid attention to most of that. Um, sure. Sure. I mean, I, I know some of this. They're like, Tex, did you read the mission briefing? And I'm like, totally. I totally read that mission briefing. Yeah, week 229? Wow, it's almost like I'm making money prolonging a war. Who would do that? <laughs> mm. Yeah, I mean, mission briefing should be just shoot mans. Step one, kill. Step two, no die. Step three, money? Put in pocket. Pocket good. But you know, that's, that's what it's about. It's about uh, finding your enemy and relieving him of his uh, brain meats and then uh, stealing his stuff. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Over and over and over and over again. Oh, wow. They have a giant hole in the ground. This must be where they mine the... Uh, chicken nuggets all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go this way and we're just gonna stomp away Copy that. secure the rally point uh -huh. got it Time to earn our money. ah the paprika mines Okay, let's see. Uh, 20, 16, 20, 55. I should be able to clap these guys. What are my thoughts on MechWarrior 5? How much time do you have? <laughs> uh, let's just say they're not very complimentary at the moment. All right. Here we go. It's time to make some shoot in the mouth hole. Oh man, they are shooting back. They are shooting back. That's kind of mean. Which is worse in my book, MechWarrior 5 or Star Trek Discovery? Well, Star Trek Discovery, because it has nothing to do with Star Trek. Nothing. It hits none of the themes of Star Trek. None of them. It's just nonsense. It's like if I described to a complete stranger what Star Trek was about, and they tuned out for most of it and said, cool, and then wrote a show based off of that half-understood conversation. Okay, let's see. Click. All right. Do I love Jade Falcon yet? No. No, I do not. Uh, let's kill him. And yes, I'm aware there is an SNES version of MechWarrior 1. I played it. All right, let's go over here and make shoot murder. Hmm. Now, I'm going to say this, and this is going to make some people mad. First best clan. First best clan. If I have to choose one, it's Ghost Bear. Ready for order. 
and the rest range between okay to... Uh, All right, here we go. Ah, uh, Clan Tabasco Crab, yes. Clan Snack Cobra. Here we go. Oh, yeah, they're gonna run around. And here we go. Oh. Look, it's a little guy. Scrumbles punch? Scrumbles punch. You fucked up. Oh no! Oh, that was so painful. Parts of him are everywhere. Alright, let's back off and tee off. Here we go. Let's give him some of that business. And let's shoot him in the keister for a little bit of bonus. Mm. Left torso destroyed, right torso destroyed. Welcome to trouble. Oh, no. Pilot incapacitated. That's a free mag. Not that I want one. All right, let's see. Wolverine. How you doing? Oh. Sorry, I wasn't listening. You had to die. Are there any enemies left? Uh, I, I think the DLC's okay for this game. Um, I support this game because the... It's the only Battletech game we're probably going to get for a while that's true to the setting. Um, because I heard that they're not interested in making another one of these for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, good God. Welcome to a crater town. Oh, you done goofed. Man, that guy blew the fuck up. That was nice. I haven't played with the bull shark yet. I think it's interesting as an idea, but mm. have someone asked the comments been hidden, but someone asked if I started an OnlyFans. No, thank you. No, thank you. Favorite DLC of Fallout New Vegas. Honest hearts. Can't expect God to do all of the work. One of the most compelling characters. Like, seriously, like, brilliantly written character, Joshua Graham. I, I thought that was an awesome character. The rest of it was okay, but that one character really sold me. I, I would say Old World Blues, but the problem was is there was just way too much derpy dialogue that was like it was written by Reddit. And it was it was it was just like ha ha penis joke ha ha and I'm like, oh my god, stop talking. Where's my player agency? <laughs> well Randolph B. Checkers started OnlyFans to fund Cardonia's independence. What was that thing? Uh, attention all Space Station 13 gamers. Randolph P. Checkers needs your help. What you have to do is get your mom's credit card and read off those funny numbers on the front and those wacky three numbers on the back. <laughs> you know, um, but no, I, I, I don't need, I do not need a, uh, an OnlyFans or anything like that. I'm, I'm not interested in that i i do get enough weird emails from people who made comments toward my voice which i'll be real with you guys my voice is this way because it is damaged if you go back to my earliest videos from damn near a decade ago i sounded very different but um i have a degenerative throat disease 
and that has sadly taken its toll and scarred my throat. And so it is painful uh, frequently to speak um, if I have to raise my voice or anything, it hurts. So I tend to kind of speak very quietly. And that's why I have to use a microphone design for bass drums, believe it or not. Um, but um, I, I've learned to just kind of work through it and, and just accept it. And, you know, people have been supportive, and that's very polite. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot. Um, the only thing I don't get, the only thing I really don't get is the people who are like turned on by it I don't understand that like there's people who are like oh my view is sexy but and I'm like eh like why would you have four I don't understand parasocial relationships like you have to understand like and sorry for saying like because I'm not implying similar to it's just a very bad holdover from my teenage years but you have to understand that, oh God, I said, and you have to understand another bad turn of phrase I use frequently. Now I'm self-aware, but just under, trying to, try to walk with me in these, in these shoes for a moment. I don't like parasocial relationships where someone says, I love you. You can love the things I do, but you don't know me. And that's not to imply you can't get to know me. I've made many very good friends in the Legion who were all once strangers. I've met them in person. I've had a very good time with them, and I treasure that time. But I feel somewhat off-put by someone casting love upon someone who is essentially a one-way relationship. And I, I don't mean to shit on anyone for that, but I want people to exercise good caution in forming these relationships. I want people to live for their own life and not for the want to appease what is essentially a voice in a box. Just a thought. And here we go. Oof. Oh, the APC got in on it. Nice. But no, um, I've, I've gotten some weird messages. Um, had someone who offered to pay me money to say some fairly um, adult things. <laughs> I, I thought that was different. Um, I, both male and female. Um, I've, I've, gotten, I've gotten, though, I would say a lot more good letters. I, I, I've gotten a lot of very good letters. Um, I, I've had, I've had some letters from people who have found the stuff I do uplifting and that has given them like strength to carry on through difficult times. And that's the stuff I really appreciate. I really, I really appreciate that sort of kindness. It is uncommon in these times, but I, I appreciate it deeply. Oh, he appears to have had an accident. All right, next. On my way. Adult things like, can you get that TPS report by Tuesday or <laughs> your ankle is showing, milady. <laughs> Madam, I will have you know your bare ankle will not be tolerated. This nonsense will not persist. Good day, I say. Good day. Oh my god. <laughs> what in the cinnamon toast fuck happened to him? <laughs> wow. That was bad. Waffle Radio says, good to see me back on the scene. I ain't been anywhere. I've been all over. I post videos quite frequently. Oof. All right, let's see. 
Um, where are we gonna go? We're gonna we're gonna kill this guy, and we're gonna do one of these, and we're gonna do one of those, and we're gonna say it's a flea. So let's shoot for the head. Why not? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh man. Oh. Whoo. Wow. Boom. Whoo. Wow. Oh, you put the TTI kit on your STI? I've, I've always wanted an STI. It's just, I don't know. I, I do and I don't. It's one of those things. Like, if I'm going to spend that much money on a 1911, you know, why not get like a Nighthawk Custom or a, like, top of the line Wilson Combat or... Oh, choices. Choices, 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 you know? Oh no, they're trying to destroy the convoy. Whatever will I do? Well, you're welcome, Coleman. I enjoy gun talk. It's just the problem is when we have um, 8,000 people asking uh, questions. I, I like Staccato and STI's guns. I really do. They're very, very fun. They're, they're very, very well put together. For, like, my day-to-day my -day carry, um, I carry a revolver or two, but um, I've, I've also carried 1911s and Glocks in the past. Uh, opinions on the Makarov. They're interesting, but they have awful trigger pulls, and they're, I mean, they're reliable. They just have awful trigger pulls, and they're in weird calibers. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, bringing me a Kentaro. Why, thank you. And you can call me a FUD, but I mean, I own 1911s. I also own polymer guns. I have a Galil. I have a G3. I have an MP5. I, I I own a lot of different stuff. I just, I find stuff neat and then I, you know, get it. Let's see. Uh, Kentaro, Griffin, Kentaro, Griffin. What about, I choose make Kentaro go away. Oh, Springfield XD. You mean the HS2000 made in Croatia and rebranded by Springfield? That one? Yeah, they're good. Oh, man. Two world wars! Let it rain, boys. That Meg did nothing to me. Well, that's no excuse. Him doing nothing is means that he is guilty of wasting my time. It is now time to shoot. Murder! Oh, he's having a bad fucking day. Oh, I like the new sculpts, part of the Kickstarter. I like a lot of their new sculpts. Objective secure. Oh, looks like I win. Hmm. A clan's Hellstar is a good mag, just pricey, you know? 
All right, let's see what we got. Oh, get to the evac zone? How about kill everyone who looked at me? How's that? I think that's a better objective. Oh, man. What's it? What are they doing? Are they walking around like they matter? Oh, let me correct that. Here, hold on. Oh, my back. Hurry. Oh, stretching. Time to kill. Okay. Yeah, I've fired a few five sevens. I've not been impressed by any of them. Not really sold on 460, Roland. I mean, what do you need it for? Like, if, if you're saying, I need a more powerful 1911, six inch barrel long slide with 10 mil plus P will do the job. Oh, I need something carbine powered. Then get a carbine. You know, it's just, eh, eh. I've not shot the HCAR, but I have shot a few BARs. Um, BARs are great. I'd fucking love to have one. That's a bucket list item. But they're like $100,000 in good shape. So, not gonna happen. Oh. Boof. Alright, let's go this way. Josiah, you are noticed, but do not use that word. I don't like that Japanese weird stuff. Alright, let's go here and just shoot. Cold Dog, I have worked on a BAR. I love them. John Moses Browning stuff is just... The best way I ever heard it described is correct. It's not good, it's not bad, it's correct. It is the correct solution for the problem. Commander, copy that. All right, Centurion, night night. Enemy down. All right, here we go. Oh, look at this little guy. What an adorable little scamp. Goodbye. I believe I win. You can find a Colt Monitor. They're out there. They're just about $100,000, though. I mean, I'd, I'd love to have one, but that's not, that, mm -mm, that is not going to happen. All right, let's see. Choices, choices. Where's, where's the heavier stuff? Did none of the... No, my God. Fucking sons of bitches. All right, um, let's see. I'll just take some of these other mech parts. Um, and some of them. And anything else special drop today? No, of course not. That would be pleasant, wouldn't it? All right, click. Okay, besides the Hunchback 2C, what would I describe as a death or glory machine? Hollander, um, rocket-armed archer, uh... Fafnir, kind of, really, when you think about it. And so we, we used to call it the Hemeyer. Um, connect those dots, if you will. Um, let's see. There's, there's a lot that are uh, pretty much single-purpose mechs that are just designed to go forward and die. Oh, I know people are going to say the Charger, but you have to understand... The Charger episode that I'm going to do is probably going to change a lot of people's opinion on it. And that is just my opinion, but it's the opinion of an asshole, and I've warned people about that. Um, no, the Stone Rhino is too slow to actually do anything. All right. So, uh, we have a mission that is going to tell us to go down there and blah, 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 kill stuff. Don't worry about it. Uh, 
All right. We're going to go in there. And we are going to kick six shades of shit out of these guys. Because I said so. And awkwardly so, I think. But that's okay. We're going to be just fine. And if we die, we die proud. We will shit our pants just like everyone else. Did I say that out loud? All right. All right, destroy pirate forces. Looks like a good old ambush in a box canyon. I smell trouble. Hmm, not friendlies, huh? Oh look, it's their mech I gotta kill. Okay. No problem. Let's go forward. Let's introduce ourselves. Will our mystery guests sign in, please? All right, let's see who can actually get up there. Here we go. You're going to park there. And then we're going to move you up here. Yeah. We need Enrico Maricone. Or Morricone. Maricone is different. Gotta be careful with Italian. Hey Alright, we're gonna just inch up and have him make contact. Hmm. Oh, yeah. So, it's a three-party fight. Curita out here in the periphery for no goddamn reason. Fine. Let's play that game. Oh. I see you live foolishly. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, let's see. Bye. Floor. Yeah, Kirita gets down here by getting lost. All right, let's go up here. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and give him some of those. I believe he is in trouble. Let's get up here and sort this shit out. And goodbye. Head for the pickup. Boo! No, go fight Kurita. I seek honorable combat. We shall go forward. Grasshopper, blah, blah, blah. Boring. Here we go. Bring me your friends. Bring the salvage to me. Minimal damage on that hit. Hmm. It appears that they wish to die honorably. I could make that happen. If I had to describe what I'm about to do them in a military sense, I would say the only comparison I can draw is pornographic in nature. Yep. So, here we go. Forward. Goodbye, Grasshopper. Oh dear. Appears you have been disarmed. That's the best I got, sorry. All right, so here we go. We're going to let him have it. Shot. 
Oh man. Let's go have him stand on the high ground. Give him a love tap here. Oh. Yeah, the Poe tank is really good. Um, the only problem you run into with some of those uh, armored units is the problem of mobility, especially across really rough terrain. But that's it. Tanks are great in battle tech. Most people hate when you bring them out. No, oh, he shot back. How dreadful. Oh, he's getting up. That's the dumbest thing he's done all day. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, let's kill. Oh, a catapult. Well, don't mind if I do. I'm going to get me that thing. I want it. All right, let's go here and uh, let's select Go Go Gadget Crippler. Oh, dear. It appears you're having trouble. An SRM carrier should give you goddamn nightmares. They're terrifying. All right, we're going to rotate down here. Going to make him work for it. Hi. Oh, he's having a bad day. The Alicorn is great. Um, a lot of people just see the PPC carrier and go, Oh, it's the best thing ever. But the, the Alicorn is the real bee's knees. Triple Gauss rifles on a fucking tank. Yes, please. All right. And Scrambles is going to walk into Scrambulation range, and he's going to cast Magic Missile on him. Goodbye, Grasshopper. Good night, and welcome to the floor. Next. Yeah, the Alicorn, Triple Gauss. All right, next. Thinking about picking up my first 1911, what would you recommend to start with? Do you like 9mm 1911s? Go to a gun store, uh, see if they'll let you uh, handle them, find some that fits your hand, and uh, go with it. There's a lot of reputable uh, companies. For your first one, you know, um, Rock Island is pretty solid. TSOS right now from Turkey is pretty solid for cheap on the cheaper end. Um... If you're looking for something that has, like, a really good warranty and support program, Springfield Armory is kind of, you know, trusted in that regard. Um, if you're looking at spending more money, there are many more options. But, you know, depends on what you're looking for. And Rock Islands are fine. I mean, I've I've not had any complaints. I've owned a few. Roger that. And I wouldn't discount 9mm 1911s. I have one. I also have a 38 Super 1911 and a 45-1911. Now all I need is a uh, 357 SIG and a 10 mil, and I can complete the set. Thank you, Gladius. I appreciate it. All right, here we go. Two world wars! Oh, God. All right, this guy is about to get the murder. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and see how many of these missiles we can make connect with his head. What's up, boss? All right, he needs to run and cool down. Run, don't shoot. 
All right, now we're gonna go here. Three hundred blackout or seven six two by thirty nine. Um, I like seven six two by thirty nine, but I own rifles in both, so six and a half of one and half dozen of the other, whichever you prefer. Oof. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. All right, let's make murder. Well, Ben, the way you wrote that makes me a little nervous, because you said, just got home from my son's swimming lesions, not lessons. So I was like, oh my god, that's a terrible disease. Oh, and he fell down. Hope we can salvage that. Anyone else? Mission successful. I love how they're like, this is a really hard mission. No. No, it's not. Just bring bigger guns. Hmm. Awesome. Awesome, because I have parts for it. Medium laser fancy, and uh, whatever. Ooh, rangefinder. Thank you much. Confirm. It's okay, man. I, I, I'm not, I don't hate on people type, and the way they type autocorrect sucks, and it's, it's fine. I just give people shit, and Google, uh, Google foo is always against people as much as for them. I think it'd be great if they said, Commander, this mission is going to be difficult if we're dumb. All right, let's go find another job. Got to make that money. Oh, I like the Cyclops. I've used it quite frequently, especially in this playthrough. Um, ooh, yeah, we're going to go there. I want that salvage. Oh, yeah. We're going to roll on out. Wow. He's... He, he painted his likeness on the bulkheads. I think that's pretty good, but it's not really great art. I mean, it's not like poetry or anything. I mean, painting someone's likeness is fine, but... There's better ways to celebrate someone. Uh, yeah, you, you can paint somewhere in an authorized area, I guess. And yeah, I could probably get another classic Battletech art episode with George Ledoux. The problem is George is very, very busy. And I don't want to constantly be like, Hey, George, let's do a thing! You know, so you gotta... You gotta take your time with it. And uh, some sometimes it's... It, it's our schedules don't always meet, but yeah, I mean, I'm down for it. And uh, you're welcome, that confused. I, I really enjoyed Star Trek. All right, here we go. And we're rolling. Advance or pause the flow of time with our power. I stick to standard engines for the most part. All right, here we go. Let's proceed with this contract. Look at all these mechs we have now. People just keep bringing us... Oh, no, we have to escort a VIP. Ugh. Fine. God damn VIP. Motherfuck. All right. Fine. No, we're fine. Everything's okay. Nothing bad. Nothing bad. Surely. Ugh. All right. Ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna... 
take this guy behind the woodshed and beat his ass. Yeah, they're in the Griffin, so we're gonna... <laughs> Oof. Ugh. Just gonna kill my heart. Alright, here we go. And we're gonna land. Blah, blah, blah. All right. This snow reminds me of my childhood. Who cares? Oh, God. Just shut up. I hated my childhood. Well, don't cut yourself on that edge. Why would you bring that up in a combat zone? This reminds me of my childhood. Uh-huh. That's my response. That. If if anyone asks me anything, I'd be like, yep. Sure. No problem. Whatever. And don't say space Detroit. There is an actual system called Detroit. It's not much better than Detroit. All right, so they shot a laser. Terrifying. Terrifying. All right, here we go. Oh no, there is Cicada. Yep, they're shooting right at that VIP. It would be a shame if someone were to have an assault mech here to kill the shit out of them. Uh, let's see, what do I want to kill them with? You, goodbye. Oh, wow, that sandpapered him pretty good, but nothing blowing through. That's fine. That's why I brought another one. Hi, how's it going? Goodbye. Oh, yeah. See, he's he's about to have some floor time. Let's arrange for some floor time for this guy. He seems like a fun, fun guy. Oh, no. Sleepy. Oh no, another dropship coming in. Too bad you can't ever see things in space until they're right on top of you. There's no way to track stuff coming to an atmosphere with invisible rays from a radio, is there? Is there? Oh, they don't like me at Maybe all. some radio ranging, range finding thing? I don't know. Anyways, let's just go ahead and back Technology. up here a little bit and uh, do that. Technology. I know, your drama. Yeah, I'm going to play the BTA mod after I finish this playthrough. Once, once I finish this playthrough, the next one is Battletech Advanced. They keep using that flamer like it means something. Radio detection and ranging? What is that? That sounds crazy. And they are really coming in on me. All right, time to die. Oh, look, he got up. Nap over. Stand by for a second helping. I really hate that griffin. All right, let's go around the side here. And give him a little bit of fuck you. Alright, so what do I want to kill you? Trying to put him in timeout. Yes, Commander. Got it. Timeout. Yep. It's remember that movie, uh, what is it, Hot Shots, where the guy's like watching the radar and he sneezes. He's like, ah, oh, there's six of them, and he sneezes, and he's like, a dozen more of them, and a giant blimp. All to go. Critical hit, Commander. Uh, 
Oh, they're throwing bodies at me. Neat. Bring them. Oh, no. All right, VIP, it is time to R U N. Here we go. And I don't have a marauder for headshot hunting because while I know that is a really broken way to play the game, that's easy mode. And I get bored with easy mode and optimal strategy and broken stuff. I like just fucking around with my mechs and building them and enjoying them and seeing what stupid things happen, you know. I, I really like that aspect of the game. And I know, I know, it's not optimal, but it brings me joy. And I think I could use a little bit of that. It's time for you to die. Roger that. I think I hit something good. Yeah, you did. How's it going? Rage brew. And here we go. Oh, and it's time to die. Oh, Vulcan, that's not very logical. Oh, well, he came in to give me a tap, huh? I might, Wildcat, I might. Dragon, Rifleman, or Quick Draw. Depends on the mission. Depends on the mission. It's, it's one of those things where you gotta choose the right tool for the right job. Ooh. Yeah, seems like they forgot about the VIP the moment they started getting their ass punched in. I think it's time to kill them all. But yeah, earlier about the uh, weird, the weird messages I get. Like, I, I can appreciate that I have female fans. Again, the l ladies who are out there. <laughs> ladies who surely exist on the internet. Um... I, I appreciate the love and compassion and kindness and goodness and all that. I really do. But I'm very wary of parasocial relationship forming, and I get kind of worried about that. Because um, I, I don't want people to simp or fawn over me. I, I, I find that that is not healthy. So it's, it's, it's one of those things. I, I am of a firm belief that you should not say you love someone you do not know. All right, let's see. What's next? But yeah, I, I have gotten some pretty weird emails. There's one guy who asked me how to blue a, a gun. And I, I realized he was talking about anodized aluminum, which, you know, no. Um, and I tried to explain to him, and he says, I guess you don't know that much about gunsmithing anyways. And I'm like, uh, all right. And there was one guy who said he wanted to ship me a bunch of burritos. Um, he said he had bought too many at Costco, and he wanted to know if I wanted them. And I said... If you put those in the mail with dry ice, they are not going to survive. And two, just eat them or give them to a food bank. And he's like, no, I'll throw them away. Thanks for nothing. And I was like, what the fuck? I mean, I, I appreciate the offer of burritos. I can buy my own. It's just, you know, different. I, I, it's one of those things. It's one of those things where... Yeah, I, I can I can deeply appreciate someone's want to be nice. That's that's fine. Someone wanting to be nice, but oh wow, get clapped. Yes, Commander. 
Well, that guy's done. Oh yeah. What's up, boss? And I, I again, I, I don't mind. Um, there, there was, there was one lady who sent nudes, and I said no. I just wrote back no, um, like scolding someone, and then she said I was shaming her somehow. And really long, angry response. Didn't care for that. Oh man. It was just bizarre. I don't I don't get a lot of social interaction in any normal sense, but uh, I just shrug. Bizarre. All right, there we go. And I wouldn't call myself famous. I mean, I'm, I'm like a grade D YouTuber. You know, 50,000 plus subscribers, 500 people watching. Sorry to say, but uh, this ain't my day job. I'm showing minor damage. And, yeah, I mean... Oh, 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 oh! Oh, look at that. Look at that guy. He's coming in here to shoot at me. Oh, man. What a cutie. Well, time to kill him. But what I'm saying is, like, the, the subs number is, is not a healthy number to look at. That, that really doesn't say anything. Fame isn't a number, nor should it be, nor is goodness. I mean, I don't like it. In all honesty, I'd, I'd be very worried if, ev if ever I had a serious following. I wouldn't know what to do with myself. I find it to be a frightening prospect. Well, time to go murder. Bum ba dum bum bum. Hello, Griffin. Goodbye. Oh, right in the face meat. He didn't like that. Man, they should have brought more assholes. What? Is he flying? Well, Jonathan Bowley, yes, I do have Asperger's. I was diagnosed to be autistic back in the 80s when that was hard, not when in the modern era where you have mild social issues and they're like, ah, he's autistic. Because you have to understand that like modern autism spectrum or Asperger's or whatever you want to call it is essentially the continual rebranding of things. Because when I was a kid, everybody had ADD, ADHD, and then... Before that, everyone had pervasive personality disorder, and there's always that one thing that is label everybody. But no, I, I actually I actually was, um, which is kind of weird. Um, in, in person, I'm a very quiet, sort of shy, reserved person. I like to stay in my little quiet place and not be surrounded. So if, if I was in a room with 500 of you people, I would shit the bed. I, I would not know how to react. I would just sit there and stare at the wall. I I would not be in a good place. No. All right. Time to die. No, they, they actually tried labeling me as ADHD, and that wasn't true at all. So they they gave me, a, you know, legal speed. <laughs> that wasn't fun. All right. So there there is this guy. He is uh, spinning. If, if there was a Tex Con or a BPL Con, first of all, it would have to be BPL Con, because... One, it's not just me. There are a lot of people that help me do what I do, okay? I, I cannot say that is all me, and I, I refuse to wear that mantle. But, um, 
I think that, in all honesty, if there was a a tax con or a BPL con or whatever you want to call it, it would be a, a probably a weird thing. Um, there would have to be a barbecue. There would have to be a barbecue. Um, there there would have to be some sort of of like taco assembly station. Probably it's a cool movie room. Um, a relax area, and then I would probably have to have a handler who made sure people um, didn't overwhelm me. That sounds like I'm some sort of monkey that needs to be escorted around, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not a huge people person. So understand that um, me being here and talking to you guys is is easy in a sense but me in person doing it not not as easy I would love to watch robot jocks with a bunch of people just say like hey and what's great is I haven't really shown my face so I could be anyone in that room so long as I was very quiet There have been a few times, though. There have been a few times, though, where someone almost recognized me. Once was at Gamers Haven in Colorado Springs. But another time... was, uh... Oh, I'm a large man with 1911s. Can I be your executive bodyguard? Well, send your resume. We'll see what you can do. Um... But one of the, one of the things that was really, really funny was I was riding the train to work long before this COVID shit started. And as I was about to get off the train, it was raining really heavily, so the train was going really slow. And I'm, I'm standing there trying to get uh, off the train, standing and waiting to disembark, right? And as I'm standing to wait to disembark on the train, I notice someone watching the Amer Civil War video. And they are just engrossed in it. Like, I, I don't know why people see what they see and what I do. I'm honored and hugely humbled at it. But I, I don't know quite how to take it. It is, it is an emotional response that I cannot put words on. But it's, it's something I'm... Like, when people come to visit, I... I I, I don't usually show them my stuff. I don't like watching my own stuff. I, I'm very nervous and skittish about that. But I was, um, I was watching this person watch the Amer Civil War. As I'm getting ready to get off the train, it is pissing, pissing rain. And out of nowhere, this little demon in my head says, you should mess with this person right fucking now. So I decide to. And um, I stand behind them, because in the train standing room only, they are seated. And I said, um, that was a really, really hard video to make and it took a lot out of me and they slowly turned around opening their mouth and as they did I rolled up the collar on my trench coat and put my hat on and walked off into the rain and the train departed so I had the film noir exit <laughs> and I know that's that sounds so cliche but it was the film noir exit for that. And no one will ever believe them. So, that is, that is one of my weird little stories. Someone is going to um, say that and say, Oh, I met this guy! And no, no one's, no one's going to believe you. I'm just going to keep doing my thing.
What kind of hat? I have a Stetson. I have a Stetson. I, I enjoy my Stetson. I used to have a slouch. I like that. You can make any uh, you can make any meme you like. Uh, let's see. What are we gonna use now? Let's go find another job, shall we? Will you guys be fine if I got up for a minute to uh, make, get another cup of coffee so I can um, keep going? Or you guys want to call it a night? You guys can choose. I'll let you choose. All right. Entertain yourselves. Entertain yourselves. I'll be right back. All right, here we go. We got back. Whew. Oh, boy. I am very excited. I, I hope you guys are very, very happy uh, that we are nearing the end of the... Uh, we're very much nearing the end of our production for the Marauder episode. It's getting, it's gonna, it's gonna be a good one. There's no way to say it other than it's, it's gonna be goddamn good. Um, we've gone way over the top. It's gonna be in 4K. It's gonna be pretty good. We had to upgrade uh, the render PC. In order to do this, the render PC is was a three thousand dollar upgrade, <laughs> but, um, yeah. The, the render rig is a beast. It can boil the air. It, it could absolutely boil the air. Um, it, is, it is a beast of a computer. So that's, that's going to be great. And then it's going to be in 4K. We've commissioned an ass load of art. We have a lot of art incoming. It's going to be great. Um... I, I don't want to say, I don't, I really don't want to say too terribly much, but I can give you guys one little tidbit, and I'm just going to say this as just a tidbit. Copy that. You do get to see a lot of Van Zant in the opening. A lot. And there, there are going to be some pretty funny cameos and lots of hidden Easter eggs. So I hope you, I hope you guys like that sort of stuff. See, a lot of people say they like looking at the Easter eggs in my videos, and there are a lot that people have found uh, in Tech Talks Battletech. We always hide a few. 
Some are single frames of stuff that just pop up and disappear. Um, some of the some of the stuff is hidden in the background. Um, I'm going to say one thing and one thing once, and I want you to listen very carefully. Mr. Mike is an expert in compositing. That is to say, he can hide and put things into images and make it look like they are normal. So, perhaps he has done that throughout the series. Little hints of things. Just saying. Oh, there's a lot of steganography throughout the series. Uh, the steganography is me. I I love steganography. Um, I've if you hear something weird in the audio, I'd recommend uh, listening very carefully. People have found some very nice things. Steganography is the art and practice of hiding messages in other medium. All right, let's see. What next? I can drink that coffee closer if you like. Watch. There, big manly sips. God, I shouldn't have done that. It's really hot. <laughs> Fuck, all right. That's not a straw. That's just me making noise. Oh man. If someone suggested I do ASMR and it would it would be basically uh <laughs> be basically gunsmithing. You you'd hear lots of very 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 careful little you know intricate tool work and then the hammer would come out. And then it would be like, "Oh god." I like my coffee like I like my women. Large. <laughs> oh. Here we go. I'm gonna sneak, no, I don't wanna give him a shot there. Oh, Cookie Mama, don't judge me. Yes, large and strong, not just large and scary. Oh, and I... Am I a fan of Formula One? I occasionally watch Formula One. I'm more a Dakar Rally guy. I do like that. Damage minimal. Damage minimal. Well, they should have brought more friends. Well, time to make clap clap. But yeah, no gunsmithing is just like, all right, I've got that all lined up. Everything is fine and lined up. Okay, this is all aligned. I'm going to take out my punch here, and I'm going to uh, reach for my hammer, and then just like a crash bang. And then, okay, that pin is seated. We're going to move on to the next pin now. I, I do like smashing stuff with hammers. I'll, I'll be honest. That's probably the best part. Most difficult job in gunsmithing. Uh, restoration of older guns. Stopping the, uh, stopping the rot on older stuff. Okay. 
that that can be very difficult, especially if there are no parts, you know, where you have to fabricate stuff. That can be really interesting. I mean, I've had some guns I worked on where I had to fabricate tools, and that also can be very interesting. Um, I like woodwork, though. Some people say woodwork is really challenging. Um, I like it, and I've desporterized quite a few guns, but I don't see that as a challenge, but uh, the right thing to do. The woodwork, I never minded. Um, I, I do very good woodwork, as seen in the uh, intermission of a Textox Battletech. I showed off that Nagant I rebuilt that was just cosmolined and ruined up and eaten up, and I completely restored the whole thing, and you can even see the rack and arsenal numbers and the cartouches and everything. So, you know, you can, you can actually do a lot with wood. You just have to know how. And, like most things, that comes with practice. Most things come with practice, generally. Your Mac 11 is hard to rack, and I think the transfer bar and trigger geometry are off. Any tips? Well, is it a conversion or a real one? Because if it's a conversion, it could be a number of things. If it's a real one, then you're going to want to send it into a gunsmith. And the reason being is because you want to preserve its value. Oh, checkering is hard. Yeah, no, I hate that. Um, I also hate stippling. Hand stippling stuff is, ugh, just tedious. All right, so they are shooting at me and doing a very bad job. Oh, VMAC clone of 3D printed frame. Oh, you might need to check your clearances. I mean, shit. 3D printed stuff, I'm not certain on. That's really out there. That's really out there, to say the least. All right, time to die. If you want to practice gunsmithing, get something simple like a Mosin and see what you can do with it. That's a good way to get good at restoration. It's You're, you're not going to ruin something. Mosins can take a lot of damage. Oh no, they're shooting back with their guns. Oh, yeah. Mark Novak's a good guy. All right. Let's see. Goodbye. 357 Magnum or 357 Sig? Well, before the current ammo crisis, I would say 357 Magnum, hands down. Um, there's many excellent revolvers in the caliber. And I, I do enjoy 357 Magnum. It's got so much power. It's a joy to shoot. It's not that bad at all to handle. The recoil is snappy, but manageable. It is not a terrible gun or cartridge to work with. It's very, very pleasant. But the issue is when you get into smaller platform, you know, concealed carry, some people like their little snub nose 357s and... I wouldn't recommend that um, to anyone who enjoyed shooting uh, because those guns are fairly uncomfortable. Um, Snub Nose 38 does just fine. But I am hands down a 357 guy. Now, if you said I have to carry an automatic, 357 SIG gets very interesting reports because with a 4 to a 5 inch barrel, 125 grain projectile, uh, 357 SIG and plus P will give the Magnum a run for its money in that projectile weight only. And Buck Star Chaser, I used to like. I used to like Rugers until I had to send one back to the factory three times for defects at the factory. I don't know where their quality control is these days. Now the problem is, really, with, with Ruger is that I, it was it was said best by Paul Harrell 
where he said, you have these two Ruger rifles, these two Mini 14s made the same year, the same year. And one can't hit the broadside of the barn and the other's a sniper rifle. And it's like, why? And they can make really good guns. I, I like a lot of Ruger products. I, th I think they have good designs. And I, I think that Bill Ruger was a very, very good gun designer. It's nothing on the design. It's, it's just a QC problem that does need to be addressed. Now, the thing that's nice about Ruger is they will make it right. If you have a defective gun, they will make that right. They will actually, actually make that right. If, if you have a gun that is a piece of shit, they will absolutely fix it for you. But it's very annoying to go to the gun range and have a 357 Magnum not work. That is, that is kind of a huge, huge, huge problem for me. So I, I, know, I know people will say Ruger built like a tank. Well, depends on which tank, because I've had a Ruger revolver fail on me seven times. And had my life depended on that, that would be very unacceptable. And I uh, would not be talking to you here and now. You're welcome, Mr. Pika Gamer. But my my choice in revolvers is a 586. I have a 586 and I have a Python. I, I consider that to be the best wheel guns you can buy right now in 357 Magnum. Oh, Model 19, very good. I have one of those as well. I don't carry it. It's a family heirloom, but uh, yeah. And how does one screw up a revolver? Well, you build it wrong. You don't pay attention to tolerances and then if the parts don't marry well together, uh, you'll find things like you'll pull the hammer back and the cylinder doesn't turn because the indexing pole is broken. Ah, uh, yeah. Keltec, they have... Okay, I, I'm just going to say this. Keltec has some great fucking ideas, but I think they are a hundred years ahead of their time. Like, they come up with some crazy ideas. Some, some just crazy ideas. Like cyberpunk ideas. They really do, but they, it's just like they're in the wrong century because they come out with them and people go, w why? Why would you... A whole box of shotgun shells on a shotgun? Now, if this was cyberpunk, sure, that makes sense. But, like, now? I mean, neat, but... Come on. It's just... They're... Like I said, they have some really interesting ideas. And I love the idea of it. The execution of them... I've shot Keltex that broke, and I've shot Keltex that ran like sewing machines. Um, the difference is, you know... Night and day. Oh, poor Blackjack. And I like a Calico. Um, they're a little weird. I, I love the Calicos that have the full wooden stocks. Those are fairly rare. Um, I, I, love, I love that look of the Calico. It looks like something out of an 80s sci-fi movie. All right, let's see. Oh. Oh no. Fall down. That's a kill. Yes, Commander. And I know there's a shotgun that holds a whole box of shells. Yes, that's the USAS twelve. Sure. But sir, can you go buy one now? Can you go out and purchase one? Because the answer to that is probably not. But the KSG you can. And it's weirdness. But hey, it'll hold a whole box of shells. The thing with Keltec, I think, in all honesty, is that they have a good idea, but it's one idea. Just one idea. 
Like, what if we made a shotgun that held a whole box of shells, and then everything else is in a different planet in terms of consideration? Nothing else is considered. It's just, what if... Uh, so, you know, they say, what if we made a 5.7 pistol that took P90 magazines? That was the only consideration. Not how to do it, but just that, you know. Largest bore rifle I've ever fired. Uh, 600 Nitro Express. And talk you out of it, Chiapa Rhino. No. Those are pretty cool. When's the DH game? It'll happen when it happens. I, I cannot make promises. I cannot make promises. It'll happen when it happens. Just... I ask in most things, be patient. It will happen. You say, well, caffeine crash. <sighs> Taurus had a had two or three eras of awful, and I do mean awful quality control. And then they, they've repaired it. Um, some Taurus guns run great. Some Taurus guns are garbage. Um, and it's just really a luck of the draw. So I, I personally have had good luck with them. Um, I owned a Taurus 44 Magnum at one point. Never failed. Enjoyed the hell out of it. Um, hunted with it. And just, it was a fine gun. Um, but I've had known people who had Taurus semi-autos that just didn't work. Oh, also, Scrambles is in the hospital again, so that's great. But also, their Beretta, uh, well, the early Beretta clones they do, um, because it's not a clone of a later Beretta, but the PT-92 is a damn fine gun, um, it, because that was a Beretta factory that they more or less inherited and staffed and ran, so... It's kind of weird. It's this weird evolution of the Beretta, the early Berettas with the frame safeties um, that have just kind of turned into their own weird thing over the years. It's just kind of a wild time. But yeah, um, their 1911s are also pretty highly thought of, strangely enough. So they, they do some things pretty fucking well. They do some things pretty fucking well. Oh, man, Scrambles is in the hospital again. Cool. We just keep getting Max Scrambles out of action. Where are my future guns? I don't know. Ask HK. That's their department. Kraut's space magic. Yeah, Matiba was supposed to do a lot of things, but Matiba is crazy, and their auto revolvers are at best okay. An auto revolver is an interesting idea, but not interestingly enough to me to to buy one. It's it's like, oh yeah, you you made a thing, cool. Um, it, it's like some guy who said I converted my car to run on farts, and I'm like, okay. I guess that's cool. They're like, isn't it great? Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> I guess. Um, yeah. So let's see. Let's let's do one more mission, and I will take it nice and slow and relaxed. How's that sound? Ooh, repossession. Eh, backyard barbecue, huh? Oh, smugglers, eh? Yeah, let's do that. I wouldn't mind a sword. I just got bad fucking joints. I have a bad back. I uh I'd love to learn how to sword fight, but I am I am fucked up by age and damage. If you're into swords, that's fucking cool, dude. Uh, 
All right. What existing rifle would you take if you were in Battletech? Uh, 4570, probably. Just something simple. Something simple I know that'll knock holes and stuff. I, I enjoy my 4570. I, I can print good grouping with that all fucking day. I've hunted with it too, so. Good old buffalo killing goodness with the 4570. I mean, people would laugh and go, oh, lever action, that's goofy. But, you know, you laugh all you want. Penetration value is measured in yards. Get in line. All right, we're going to stomp over this way. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, buffalo's delicious, man. All right, enemy turn, it says. There's a convoy out there somewhere. Do you know how to make your own ammo? Yes. I used to in the past. I just don't have the equipment anymore. I mean, I would get 4570 with, like, the plus P plus copper clad, you know, hard case bullets and <laughs> just have that. So, you know, you get shot out of your mech, you bust out your 4570, you just rack that thing and uh, they start laughing at you or, you know, threatening you or telling you to stand down and you just pop one through the cockpit um, or at the very least break the glass out. I mean, if they want to play a game, show them that you have more games than Milton Bradley. Go down fighting. Oh, a cataphract. But yeah, you can do a lot. Uh, you can do a lot of fun guns for the setting. I mean, forty-five seventy is is basically what I do because I'd figure if I need to shoot at something further than that on a battlefield, I'm gonna be shot by someone with a really high-powered rifle or something very, very big. Hi, cataphract. You fucked up by showing up. Die. No? Shit. Ooh, PBC carrier. All right, let's see. Let's go over here. Try to clap this clown. Ooh, right in the meebles. Get it. No opinion on 375 Che Tag. I know the Che Tag intervention, a lot of that stuff is supposed to be really high class, high speed, low drag shit, but I'm not operator enough or rich enough to, to buy that sort of stuff. I, I'm just not. So, I mean, as cool as that is. As cool as that is, I, it's not for me. I mean, if, if I want to spend four to five grand on a fucking rifle, I'm, I'm going to go buy a Seiko TRG-42. The Finns build it. I know it's going to be accurate, and they're tough as hell. You can take a TRG-42 and drop it out of a helicopter, and the damn thing will work. Um, so that's probably what I'm going to buy with that kind of money.
All right, so Catapult and that Marauder. Yeah. That Marauder need die. It need die soon. And there's this whole convoy full of heavy vehicles. Ugh. Oh, Commander. I'm hit. Wow, could he say that any more dramatically? Ah, oh, Commander, I am hit! <laughs> okay. I have been wounded! Well, time to die. Oh, head explode! I cast fireball! Barrett 416 is, is that whole idea of, like, I can't get 50 cal, so I'll shoot that. Um, it's interesting. Um, but again, if I was gonna buy a Barrett product, I'd buy a 50 cal. It's, it's like getting the V6 when there's a V8. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, eh, no. I know it has its place. I know all these calibers have their niche little applications, but I, yeah. Oh, headshot. <laughs> what were you guys saying about uh, headshots and marauders? Oh. Oh. It feels so good. The oldest firearm I own is a pistol from World War One. The second oldest firearm I own is a Rifle from 1941. Here it comes. And you heard it earlier in the stream. And I don't want to critique fan art. Fan art is made with love. And it just feels wrong. If someone is going to take the time... To create something for you, something truly nice and magical, and they're gonna put their effort into it. It could look like total asshole. But if they made it with love, why would you hate them for it or make fun? I would rather encourage them, I think. I think I'm going to win this mission. I think they're all going to die. What's up, boss? Aye, aye. Firing. Man, they brought tanks to a mech fight. One for the scrap. These guys are dumb. Ready. All right. Let's go over here and shoot this guy. Oh, get your lance to the LZ. Run for it, Commander. No. Let's see. A catapult, huh? See if we can pull off a headshot. No, shit. Oh, well. Oh, no. He shot me. Shoot me all you want. Let's see what happens. Fuck around and find out, right? Oh dear. It appears you're having a malfunction. And I win. Tango down. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. I will be doing the story DLC at some point, probably. Yes. Oh, boy. Yeah.
You know, I realize on streams we end up having a lot of very strange conversations. Um, not that I hate strange conversations. It just seems to happen uh, more frequently than I expect. Because there was that one stream where I was with Diggs and we were talking about relationships. And, and you know, I've had a lot of failures with that. Not the greatest people person, and certainly... Uh, not a good looking man, but it's, it's one of those things where I find that it's very odd that after that, I got a lot of emails from people who, who just said, keep at it and very encouraging. So even though it's weird to kind of share yourself one sided through the internet, it is very nice to hear nice things. I do appreciate that. So we got a marauder now. Let's get under the hood here. Let's get under the hood here. Because we have all these nice mechs. So. Some fan art of Professor Tex and the XY. Sure, why not? Yeah, the BPL still trying to find me a girlfriend, I guess. I mean, I just kind of shrug at that. I've learned long ago, you really can't tell people what to do. You can only tell them what you would like. And what you hate. And you just hope for the best, really. I mean, people are going to do what they want, for the most part. And you just kind of... You just kind of let it be. Hmm, plus to call shot. So, I have a Gauss rifle. But I believe my Gauss rifle ammo exploded earlier in the Let's Play. Yeah, it did. So, I have the Gauss rifle. I just have no fucking ammo for it. So, what I'm going to need to do is probably, probably need to go to the gun store. All right, fuck it. Um, check the store. Hey, look, an atlas for $142 million fucking dollars. That sure is fun. Christ on a crutch. Ugh. Uh, let's see. Not in the black market. Let's go to normal market. Yeah, it's still not better. Fuck. Well... I do have energy mounds. I could large laser people's faces off. Yes, I could. Yes, I will. Large laser faces. Yeah, we'll do large and medium in each arm. It's not that great, but I'm going to give it enough uh, heat sinks where it's not going to fucking matter. And then uh, one accuracy to energy with uh, that. And then, oh, wait, no. Two. Two accuracy to energy. And then uh, range finder right there. And then heat sinks. Yeah. There we go. That should do. I should do. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Yeah, toss get takes a V tuber avatar. Oof. Uh, no. I know a, a three R without a gun feels heretical. I I know I was gonna put in a Gauss rifle, but uh, no. All right, so let's see what next anime text. Hell no, not only no, but hell no. That's not my speed, really. Repossession. Well, you gotta go beat up the Torians. Okay, that sounds smart. Why not? I appreciate it, Frank, but no. 
All right, so let's remove the Banshee. And actually, Behemoth does have that bonus to shoot face. So let's go ahead and give her the Marauder. And then uh, let's take Brrrr. Tin Man. There we go. But yeah, no, that's one thing in the BPL. Is they're like, we could find Texa Amazon girlfriend or something. And I was like, oh, God, no, please, let's not let the Internet get involved. That was uh, weird. But, you know, mm, I, 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 I get enough weird messages, you know. Mm. Ah, coffee. Time to kill. Yeah, and I do like uh, Elemental Girl. See, I, I had I dated an Amazon. She was big and strong, and it just kind of broke me. Every man's got a weakness. That's mine. Okay, y'all. Stay frosty. Get it? Stay frosty, because it's an ice planet. Ooh. Position confirmed. Ooh. Good place to get a Mosin? Not anymore. Position confirmed. Hostile on sensors. All right, here we go, boys. Oh, uh, yeah. The days of the $600 Mosin crate. Whew. five ninety nine and free shipping, boys. That's what it used to be. And I mean a crate of rifles. A crate of untouched, unissued rifles. Oh, those were the days. Those were the fucking days. Ugh, it's so sad. All right, here we go. And there, I remember when AKs were like two ninety nine. I mean, God. I remember when AR lowers were twenty nine bucks. I remember when M1 Garands were five hundred dollars. I remember when a Remington eight seventy could be had for two sixty nine and change. Commander. There used to be this printed magazine or newspaper rather. It was called the Shotgun News back in the day. And the Shotgun News back in the day was this printed newspaper you had to get a subscription to and um the shotgun news would come to your house and had all sorts of surplus deals shit you wouldn't fucking believe shit was so fucking cheap i mean cheap cheap um and i i mean good god i'm, I'm talking like oh yeah you want a you want an ak 2.99 no problem you you want um like a Lewis gun parts kit that has one tiny little uh, cut in it, you know, a uh, hundred bucks. I mean, everything was cheap as fuck. You know those really high-end Vepper AKs or RPKs that are selling for like, uh, God, those things are selling for like five, six grand now? Those were $400. I mean, that was how it was. Um, they all got bought out, burned up, um, import laws changed. And uh, what's this about an elemental ex-wife? Okay, so mm, let me let me tell you a story. I, I guess we could we could do a story and not a activated machine gun. It had been deactivated, but it was a parts kit, meaning it could be made whole again. But no, all the super good deals are gone, and shotgun news is not what it used to be. It's now just another gun site. Used to be something very special, you know. Back in the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s. All right. 
story time, right? One moment. Oh, a victor. Let's see. Oh, shit, no. There we go. 35%. Structure exposed. Headshot. All right. So, once upon a time, Tex was a younger man and in less pain and with a fairly normal voice. I was a man who enjoyed jean jackets and jeans. Had a shitty pickup. And uh, I just got by in life. Didn't worry as much like I do now. It was a simpler time. And so I had stopped at this bakery. I had stopped at this, uh, at this bakery because I, I just wanted to get some, wanted to get some bagels. And they were a fairly new bakery. And uh, there was this lady in the bakery that was quite tall. And I mean like 6'6". Six, six, and she was running the bakery. And she was just there by herself. So we started talking. I said, could I get some bagels? She said, sure. I ate one, and I was like, my God, these are great fucking bagels. And she said, oh, you're so welcome. And we talked about bagels for like an hour. So she slips me her phone number, and I am retarded with women. I am absolutely retarded with women. I thought she gave me her phone number so I could call her and tell her how the bagels were. Seriously, that's how my brain rolled around at that not 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 very smart at that time not very wise and so um you know one thing led to another i i talked with her uh, a little bit here and there eventually she asked me out because again i am a total mess with women um and we got together and she she was a very very pleasant person and we we were together a good long while um very tall extremely strong um basque i'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the basques but uh they are very strong people and then um sometime later she had to move and that was that So, yeah, ever since then, I, I told that story kind of an annotated shorter version in the Legion. Um, and uh, they, they joked about me having a, uh, you know, an elemental ex-girlfriend. And um, that just became kind of a running meme for a bit. So we just kind of made it part of the story of Professor Tax and art imitating life in that sense. Oh, she, um, I, I looked her up a while ago. Um, she's married and has a family, so sometimes it's just best to leave things be, you know. It's just time sometimes to let things be. All right, time to kill. And I'm not complaining or anything. I mean, that's life. I had some damn fine times, and, you know, I have the memories, and that sort of stuff stays with me. That's, that's mine forever. I'm not bitter over it. Yes, All right, let's see. The Marauder has one arm, which is a problem, because it usually needs both of them to do any work. 
Not enough. Damn. Well, time to kill him anyways. Time to kill him anyways. Poor Marauder. All right, let's see. Let's see about handling this the Scrombles way. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the floor. You're welcome, Josh. I appreciate hearing that. Take that leg off. I want to take that leg off. Give me that leg. Give me that leg. I want another Marauder. I want to do all headshots. It'll be funny. Heat sink destroyed. Damn it. Tarnation. And thanks for saying so, Lord Merishiki. I appreciate hearing that. But remember, you know, we're all in this together. We just gotta do what we do. But no, I mean, Elemental Girlfriend became a joke. Became a thing. Um, oh yeah, there's another mech for me. Nice. But no, I mean... It, it's it's a like. It's not like a checkbox that must be checked. It's just a thing. And so people teased me about it. And then I decided to tease everyone by making it kind of part of the story, you know. If, if, if you got a thing about you, you can't be all defensive about it. You just gotta own it. And, uh, you know, do it to it. Ooh, fall down. Morning. Armor low. How's it going? All right, time to take the other one. Both legs destroyed. Yeah. All right, time to kill you for even showing up. Hello, Rifleman. You are soft. I did a video on you. Watch this. What? He took it. My God. I'm wrong. I know nothing. Time to flee. All right. Uh, no. He has bulwark, so he gets that bonus. Don't worry about it. I'll break through. He'll explode soon enough. What? Why did he do that? Scrambles. Punch. Hi. Oh, structure exposed. We're going to do this guy dirty. It's going to be like the uh, those guys from Night at the Roxbury, you know. Yeah, that rifleman took it on the chin. He knew I was going to say something, and then he just was like, fuck it. Here we go. Oh, no. There's not much of him left. That was a bad joke, and I deserve the negativity for it. Stomp. Stomp. Acknowledged. 
go to hell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's getting up. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't. Don't. No. Why? Why? Why would you do this? Oh, dear. Ready for order. Honor. Yeah. Get fucked. One last target. Mission successful. It appears I win. Oh, man. That was good stuff. But no, guys, this is this has been kind of a fun, chill stream. Just kind of chilling. Chilling like a villain. Oh, look, I could build another Marauder. Tee hee hee. We're going to have some good times. Marauder Lance is going to be a thing. I love how he says that mech he asked for it. How do you know I asked for it? I didn't ask for it. You just put it together. You can't do that. I mean, you can, but you, you really shouldn't. You should ask people's permission before using their tools. Okay, Ryan's fate. We're going to set course there. I know we can travel there freely, but I don't want to jump into a mission right away. But I just love the fact that he does that. And he's like, hey, that mech you asked for. And I'm like, dude. Dude. We can't afford this. And he's like, oh, well, that mech you asked for. Oh, man. That's too funny. All right, repair, repair, repair. And then... You know what? I have a fucked up idea. Because I have a lot of medium lasers. Would bonuses do accuracy? Okay, I can only put two in each. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bonus... Oh, wait, no. Accuracy and crit. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Accuracy and crit, yeah. Accuracy and crit, okay. And then, I don't need these. And then what else? What else? What else? Um, I'm going to save it like this for now. Because I'm going to come back to it. I'm going to see what I can get my hands on when we arrive on station. Yeah. We threw a party. And seeing that Twitter right there, that's how you reach uh, Wildcat144. He draws Battle Tick stuff, and he draws Big Titty Cat Girls. Or both. You can do that. That's your choice. Yeah, he he draws he draws cad girl mech pilots and all all sorts of stuff. But no, he he does good work. So if you want to reach out to him and commission him, his prices are reasonable. All right, here we go. Oh, meteor shower. Nice. Yeah, let's go to the store and see what we can get into. He's like, I got archers. I got I got parts of archers. No one has more parts than I do. Right, I'm gonna buy I'm gonna buy all these AC twos. Now people are gonna say that's dumb, but don't worry about it. Mr. Tex has a plan. It's not a smart plan, but it is a plan. Alright, then I go bah, and then I okay, cool. Then I'm gonna get back down into the mech bay. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to refit you, because you're missing parts. And we're going to do 
AC2 with four accuracy. That's important. We're going to do another one. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, that's fine. One AC2. One little bitty AC2. And that's okay. That's okay. And then equipment. Let's see. Rangefinder? Damn, I have to put that rangefinder where it is. Shit. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Com system, cockpit mod, arm mod. Oh, ho. Yes, please. Yes, please, indeed. <laughs> yes. Head shoot. There we go. Confirm. That's right. I'll get it to space. Now, you are the other marauder that is going to be... Yes. Uh, AC5, no. No. PPCs. PPCs! Hmm. Hmm. Mm. One of these. One of those. And then, uh... Now... This much extra stability damage might be seen as dickish, but I'm going to experiment and go do a mission with this much extra stability damage and see if I can just keep people on the floor. I think I can. In fact, I know I can. No, to no, that's too many jump jets. But I want it to fly! And I'm gonna call you Zimzam for larger bones. I know, I could max the armor. I know, I know, it's okay. Okay, I'm gonna send you to storage. I don't need you. Archer, I don't need you. I don't need you. You guys are going to get sold. Don't worry about it. It's going to be okay. Just breathe with me. It's it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Don't, don't we'll, we'll be all right. We're just going to wait for our mechs to get out of repair here. And Then we're going to get into contracts, and we're going to go test Operation Shoot Face, okay? And, uh, let's see, that's, wow, that is a high-level mission. Okay. Destroy the Pirate Lance, and it's a high-level one, so, okay, let's do it. Uh, Head Shoot, mm-hmm, Blasto Ack Ack, all right, I'll leave the other one here for now, but let's fucking go out there and shoot Head. Don't worry about it. Give me the yeet, boys, and free my soul. I want to get tossed in a fucking hole. All right, here we go. We're going to go clap these people. And steal their stuff. Time to fight. All right. Looks like this is a pretty hot area, huh? Destroy enemy units. Oh, it's this map. Fuck. All right. I have an idea. It's not a smart one, but here we go. I haven't tried Rogue Tech in a while. My computer is a few years old, so um, that may also help. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's on my to-do list. It's on my to-do list.
All right, we're going to go up there and shoot the dicks off them, okay? That's, that's what we're going to do. Oh my god, that's the edge of the map. So this could be a little bit more difficult than I thought. All right. Yeah, it's the map border. I know. I see it. All right, we're going to take the high ground. Scrambles take high ground. Scrambles punch. Scramble no like scorpion. Still, that that playthrough I did on the courtesy flush of Scrambles was fucking hilarious. Where he's so dumb. He's so dumb that at the very end, at the very last mission, he stumbles into the H-bomb in the basement, fiddles with the wires and arms it, then runs out and blows them all to hell without having a single line of dialogue, no exposition, no big bad evil guy, no reason why any of this is being done. Just scrambles stumbling in, fumbling with an H-bomb, and killing everyone. That was fucking gold. I, that is one of my favorite moments on YouTube. All right, now, what we're gonna do is we're going to get their attention as best we can. There we go. Oh, it's a quick draw. Oh, dear. Oh, and a stalk. I want that stalker. I'm going to get it. They have a 90 and a 95 tonner. Uh, dragon. All right. Receiving. Roger. So you have chosen death? Engaging. It's a banshee. All right. And a Zeus? What is this, a parade of OK Max? Ooh, Highlander, that's a good one, that's a good one, all right. Oh, and a Cyclops. Man, they sure brought out the B team, huh? All right, let's play this game. It's almost like they set a trap for us or something. Oh well. Uh, who dies today? Zeus and Banshee. Banshee's softest. Oh yeah, he's he's hurting. All right, let's just back up into this cover here, so we can start spraying rounds. Oh, structure exposed already. All right, the problem is if I move into range with a crab. Okay, there's where I'm gonna move the crab. Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna make them come into the valley of crab. Scrambles got shot in the head again. Who could have thought that would happen? Oh wow, it is indeed live. Yeah. Oh, and here we go. Yes, Commander. Move order received. All right, backing up. And let's do a headshot. Locking on target. Head pilot injured. Oh no. Do I own any Battletech miniatures? Yes, I own a lot. Warning. Armor low. All right, 
let's keep backing up. Keep backing up. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. All right. You can shoot scrambles all you want. We did a battle tech tabletop stream. Uh, look up Discount Tukian. That was on Discount Dan's channel. We did the Battle of Tukian. Uh, all my minis are painted. I think. Yeah, uh, the fans decided to send me a bunch of minis, and they just keep showing up. So, I mean, I appreciate it. I, I don't expect or want anyone to do anything for me like that. Um, but people do it. All right, let's back off a bit and force people to come at me, bro. Alright, so there's targets everywhere. This is gonna be fun. Well, I did say Discount Dan had a channel on my channel's announcement page probably 50 or 60 times, but if you're not seeing that, I would blame YouTube. I don't think Scrambles was at two kid, man. I, I think he would have like gotten in a lot of trouble uh, stomping people, you know. Don't worry, I'm going to pull them into a trap. Ooh. Minimal damage on that hit. All right, I'm going to pull them into the valley, and then the crab is going to give them the clams. And yeah, I stopped playing on TG when the code changed way too fast and a lot of changes were made and how TG was run and it just wasn't for me anymore. I just stopped playing there. And I understand, Waltman, it is some sad stuff, but history often is. I'm going to get back into cover, and then I'm going to give him the business. All right, here we go. See, they're going to have to come to me. Cyclops, he wants to play the game. For All right. Let's keep backing up. See, look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna pull them all out of their happy place. Ready for orders. It's almost time for the clamps. It's almost time for the clamps. Oh, this is going to be good. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Start shooting. Because if crab comes over the hill, it's going to be bad. Oh, man. All right, so we're going to back up. And we're going to give a boop on the forehead. 
apply directly to forehead. Oh, well, that's not the head, but I'll take it. Yeah, they're having to take a lot of wild shots at me now. So they're going to have to come out of their happy spot. As soon as I kill that asshole spotting for them. Then it will become a shooting gallery. My shooting gallery. It's okay, boys. Rain Jesus is part of this. You must accept Rain Jesus' blessings and his curses. It's all even. Don't worry about it. If it will soothe your worried nature, I will read you a poem. That is all I promise. Oh, no. And he fell down. Good to go. All right. Commander. It is time to hide with the crab. Oh, here they go. All right, now it is time to turn the tide. They've got a lock on me. Oh boy. Yeah, they're still going to keep shooting. It's okay. All right, let's see. Which one can see me? It's you, isn't it? All right. Ah, crap. Yeah, I'm in good cover, though. This is going to be fun. Standing by. Time for ambush. Crab ambush, good. Apparently, he can't make out the target right there, which I think is a little bullshit, but okay. That's fine. We'll say they're looking down, or maybe they're really short in the seat, and they need, like, a phone book, you know? They're just, like, they're, they're kind of cramped down there, and they're doing their best. All right, here we go. It is now time for crab. Oof. Yeah, that shotgun pogo stick bed in that podcast fucking killed me. Oh, quick draw's leaving. Seems like he doesn't want to get crab. Ready for orders. Do you not like crabs, sir? All right. Oh, Stalker came out. Yes. Oh, yes. Now is time. Waiting for orders. Aye, aye. It is time for Crab. There. Ooh, yeah. That's some good damage. <laughs> Quick withdrawal. Yes, Commander. I come. 
We're just gonna brace and cover. I'm gonna slowly fight this fucker. It's gonna, oh, he's doing the lock. He's doing the Care Bear stare. Is that his, uh, is that his magical ability here? All right, Scrambles. Cast Eye of Sauron upon the Banshee. Make him floor. Oh, left leg destroyed. Welcome. Welcome to the floor. Oh. By the way, guys, if you want to know what Mike and I do on render night, which is usually a few nights before the episode is uploaded, because uh, we have to stay up for it, um, on the uh, Mackie episode, we ended up having to stay up way late uh, the night before release just to get it perfect. And so the night before release, we needed a movie we could watch that would just keep us awake. And we saw a Steven Seagal film that neither of us had heard of. It was a direct-to-stream release film that was called Perfect Weapon. And if you need a good laugh, like if you're having a bad fucking day, I would recommend Perfect Weapon heavily. Um, Perfect Weapon is a brilliant shit show of a movie that is so fucking funny. Mike and I were stunned into silence and I'm talking Neil Breen film bad it is it is bad bad um it is it is an incredibly bad movie in every way and it is it is so incredibly bad it's it's great I I, I have no way to describe it but just watch it watch it all the way to the end it is it is so amazing it is, it is so amazing. It's, it's just like mind-blowingly amazing. And you realize the movie is shot in a hotel where they stayed. The, like 90% of the movie is shot in a hotel where they stayed, seriously. Um, it's it's mind-blowingly bad. It's incredible in every way it could be bad. And it's... They... Steven Seagal probably wrote a good part of it. Um, he he basically does whatever he wants, and it makes no sense. It's it's amazing. It's it's absolutely amazing. You need to watch it. I just watch the whole thing, and your your mind will just be blown. It's like it's like having your brain smashed out with a brick. I mean, it is it is incredibly bad. It's great though, and how bad it is. I mean, there. Steven Seagal basically tries to play. I, I can't even explain it. It's incredible. It's incredible. All right, all we gotta do is beat these people to death. Standing by. Shouldn't be terrible. I, copy. I just have to keep pulling them out of position and keep applying forehead shots. Structure exposed, that's the head. Pilot injured, yes. Oh, that, that one, Scrambles is taking a beating. Okay, the Stalker is coming forward. He's almost overheated. I think I can blow him up easy, and then the rest of these guys, I'll just start sweeping up. So Scrambles, we're going to back off, we're going to pull people in, and we're going to give you a boop on the snood. Oh, he is in bad shape.
Is it time to boop the snoop? I think so. Oh, and he's down. All right, next up, we're gonna shoot the Zeus. What the fuck was that? Did you see that? It just went. All right, what else? Okay, we're gonna back off an Akak. We're just gonna keep beating these guys to death. Tin Man. Actually, no. Stay exactly where you are and just shoot him with bullets. And he's down. One left Banshee's next. Yeah, might might have been a Yeetzee. Okay. I think I can shoot that Highlander's head off and take it. I think I can. Alright, let's try to shoot that head again. Oh, yeah! Oh, that was nice. That felt good, you know it. You know that felt good. That felt so good. Alright, alright, alright. We, now, we can't get too cocky. We, we gotta... Got to be very, very careful here. Got to bleed some heat. Got to keep fighting. Got to keep fighting. Got to stay strong. Oh, Frank, that was a groaner. Another person headed for an early grave. Ha <laughs> ha. Ugh. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Uh, let's turn one of those. Oh no, he's really boiling. Oh, yeah, there's another one. I think the guy you're talking about for Ameris, Michael Wong? Yeah, he's an amazing actor. He would be fucking amazing as Ameris, because he, he does scary, power, silent, like, brooding really well. He was probably the only good part of Marco Polo. All right, here we go. Uh, let's see. Dragon, I choose you. Mm, no head meets. Try, try. Benedict Wong, that's it. Not Michael Wong, Benedict Wong. Why do I always... See, when it comes to guns, I always say John, because John Moses Browning, John C. Garand... John is a very common first name. And then sometimes with some people, I'll just say Michael. I think we all do that, though. Michael Ironsides would do a pretty good Kerensky. That or De Chevalier. Oh, I, I loved Robot Jocks, dude. I like I can recognize a lot of things uh, just by just by sound, but one of the first and foremost is the Rocket J or Robot Jocks uh, soundtrack. Dam, badlam, badlam, bam, bam. Yeah. Oh, love it. Ooh. Oh man. Commander. All right, let's start pushing the advantage. And good evening, Kath, or good tomorrow, I should say. Ooh. Ooh, it's time to die. Let's get in there and give him the business. Mads Mikkelsen would be a good Kerensky. Acknowledged. 
Oh man, that dragon's taking a beating. Christ. All right, we gotta keep fighting. Now that we've turned the tide, we gotta just start beating the brakes off these clowns. Gotta beat these people like a redheaded stepchild. Gonna hop on these fuckers like the last chop rat of Nam. There you go. Fall down. Fall. There you go. Get wrecked. Danny DeVito for Amaris. So anyways, I just started blasting. <laughs> oh, man. That, that would be great. All right, Dragon, goodbye. And one last guy. Ready for orders. Roger. Oh. Oof. That's gonna be pricey. All right, boys. Let's get forward and kill somebody. Do I have a favorite mech unit or merc unit? Probably the Eridani Light Horse. Highlanders are pretty cool as well. I think the wolves dragoons are a complex to topic, you know? They, they, they really are. They're gonna have to be their own talk. Yeah, I gotta cool that guy down. There will be a Snorts of Regulars episode. There, there has to be. I'm sorry, but there, there really does. Um, they're, they're too wild to not talk about. Ooh, the pilot's injured. Yeah, Snords Irregulars is pretty weird. Alright, boys. Here we go. Oh, he's having a bad fucking day. Yep. Two world wars. I got it done. All right. Not bad. All right. Hmm. What do I want? Well, I could get a whole Highlander get parts of other stuff, but oh, I'll take the whole Highlander. Why not? That is mine. Yeah. All right. So, looks like we did a good job. Been streaming a while. So, as it is drawing to an evening, and uh, I got up at 5 a.m. for work, I did promise a poem. So, 
you guys would like. I can end this with a piece of gentlemanly poetry. If you like. So. Uh, yeah, save in quints. Confirm. There we go. Here we are. I will read The Ocean by Nathaniel Hawthorne. The ocean has its silent caves, deep, quiet, and alone, though there be fury on the waves. Beneath them there is none. The awful spirits of the deep hold their communion there. And there are those for whom we weep, the young, the bright, and fair. Calmly the wearied seamen rest beneath their own blue sea. The ocean solitudes are blessed, for there is purity. The earth has guilt, the earth has care, unquiet are its graves. But peaceful sleep is ever there beneath the dark blue waves. And I think that will be a good place to end with a small bit of culture for those who appreciate that thing. Thank you for all tuning in. And thank you all for being around and helping me and propping me up when I feel low. I appreciate it. Keep in mind, in times like this, it's going to be very easy to be negative and upset at the world. It's going to be very easy to be mean and angry. But, in all honesty, if you look out for one another and try to help where you can, the world can be a better place and you can be a part of that change. Just keep that in mind is all I ask. Ta-ta for now, and stay safe out there.